Um, everybody, uh, I, I don't think I've ever really did a video that really showed all this without going off on a tangent and explaining my ideas about other things, kind of visual portals and um, cosmic portals. So um, I just wanted to explain this or describe it, open it up and tell you everything about it and about the things back here, if I have enough video on here. So this is split up, and I'm, I'm going to open up the tripod doors. Open the jump bar over. Um, and uh, I plan on replacing it. Replacing the, um, I plan on replacing the, um, the grids on here with, uh, more precise grids. I made these out of foam board and spliced them together. And also the, the X's that were going through the imagery that fills up the corner angles the crisscrossed X's that go in each cubicle cell for the eight corner angles all around inside and outside the box. They'll be front and back of an image glued together so they'd be strong enough to support themselves inside each cubicle cell. And technically all the photographs around here could support themselves when they're gridded together or spliced into each other. But I wanted to use a facing and a more precise facing for the cubes, the cubicle spaces alone, just to support the photographs from crushing each other so easily if this box were to fall over, box or cube, whatever it's called, it has 26 degree angles to it inside and out. You have a, you have a, six faces, 12 edges, and eight corners all together is 26 degree angles and I hope they would be seamless because what I will do is create a floating hologram in here made entirely out of photographs and that hologram will be this dog toy if you can see that right it will be this dog toy and it sits it's supposed to sit in the middle of this color coded arms of this what I call photograph or photo cube. It helps me align my camera right to take the pictures that are supposed to make the box blend in. And also the same pictures, you copy them twice and you'll get both the interior holodeck and hologram effect out of them just by copying them twice, pasting um, 54 pictures on the outside and 54 pictures on the inside. It's 108 in all, and they do need to be turned into posters to get these 16 by 16 inch, uh, and they all have to be square, squared posters. The posters I'm going to get are 16 by 20, but I'll cut out the extra four inches to make them 16 by 16 inch, and they need to fit on these faces uh, all around the box, not just the out, not just the inside the holodeck and photographic hologram, but the and the outside cloaking, photographic cloaking. And it's just a wonder that you can derive all three qualities of what would be an artificial portal out of two. You take one image 54 times, you take 54 different images, copy it twice for the outside and one for the inside. And with the inside, you can get the two effects, at least on the photographic level. You can get the background holodeck that will appear on these faces and edges and what will be corner angle views. And also you'll get what would appear to be a floating hologram. I call it a photographic hologram and the dog toy was my subject I'm going to use to reproduce it in here. Much like what you'd see in a toy like this. To I hope you are familiar with uh, um, this and don't work, it's corroding.
but um, it's a parabolic, um, parabolic uh, bow. It facing each other, and you know you see a penny or a little toy floating on top of it. Well, that would work in the same way for the photographic hologram, which would be the dog toy for this experiment. And um, so I'm going to try to close this pack up again. And this might fruit stop before I finish. Oh well. Hmm. Make sure this position right. Okay. Well, here we go. And all this is going to be redone with more precise material. Not the box itself, the box is fine, but just the grids I'm not too happy with. <coughs> and um, so I better turn off the slide with this. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for viewing this video. And um, uh, thanks a lot.